first step to begin using Layer is to set up a project. Click the New Project button, give the project a name, and a location. You have the option to start from scratch, but to help you get started, we've provided a few template projects. We'll start with the design template for this example. Click the Create Project button when you're ready. Invite other team members by clicking the plus sign beside Team. Company users are part of your Layer account. Collaborators are users outside your Layer account. If these users need to have editing ability in the project, be sure to set the permissions to Contributor or Editor. Users can also be removed from this screen by scrolling to the bottom and clicking the X next to their name. Now let's begin adding data to the project. Categories are the top level of the data hierarchy. Categories can represent tangible items like doors, windows, rooms, and furniture, or intangible items like punch lists and work orders. The design template already includes several categories commonly used by architects. Click the plus sign beside the categories option to create a new category. Give the category a name, then click Create Category. Select the new category in the left-hand navigation panel, and now you can begin adding elements to your category. Elements are the individual items about which you want to track data. Click the plus sign at the bottom of the screen to create a new element. Name the element, then click the Create Element button. At first, your element will be empty, but you can now begin to create fields which will eventually contain the data collected for each element. Click Add a field to get started. For this example, I'll start with a date field and name it Date of Inspection. I can choose to add a description for this field and choose a color for the title bar. I'll just hit Save Field for now. I can add additional fields by clicking the plus sign at the bottom of this window. I'll also create a person field which will let me pick from a list of the other team members who have joined this project. Once I've created fields, I have the option to rearrange them by using this icon or to delete them by clicking the trash can to the right of that field. When you're done creating fields, click the X in the upper right hand corner. The design template includes several elements with fields to give you examples of the various field types. We encourage you to experiment with the different field types to find the options which work best for your project. You can always delete a field by clicking the Edit Fields button and clicking the trash can beside each field. You can also delete an element by clicking the three dots icon in the element card. The right side navigation panel for each element will also display tabs for files, notes, tasks, and activity. 
The Files tab will show all files already attached to that element, but also let you attach other files not associated with the particular field. Just click the plus sign, then select Upload. The Notes tab lets you attach notes to that specific element. Type your note at the bottom of the panel, then click Submit Note. The Tasks tab allows you to assign tasks to other users you invited to the project. Type the task description at the bottom of the panel, then click the three dots to set up a due date and assign the task. Submit task when you're done. When a task is complete, click the circle to the left of that item. Lastly, the Activity tab lets you see the change history for that element and undo any of those changes by clicking the Undo Change button on the right side of each item. As the number of elements in a category increases, finding a particular item by scrolling becomes more difficult. Use the search function to find a particular element. Or use the filter and sort functions to find groups of elements with common properties. If you frequently use the filter and sort tools to find a certain item, you can save time by creating a view based on those settings. Choose between gallery view and table view. Once you've collected the data for your project, you can run reports from the left navigation plan panel. Click the plus sign to create a new report. First, select the appropriate category. If you do not want all elements and all fields included, click on each field to change the selections. Here, you can also choose the file format, PDF, Excel, or CSV. Click Generate Report when you are finished. Once the report has been processed, you can click the Download icon to save a copy to your computer. If you would like more help getting started in Layer, Click the question mark icon beside your name in the lower left corner to access various support resources.